Hi guys, it's Janine and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reacting to episode 9 of Our Dining Table. I'm so excited to get into this episode even though I think it might be a bit heavy. Um, I just still have been enjoying this show so much. Before we do get into it, however, I just want to say a quick and little thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members. And if you're interested in joining either of those for early access and uncut reactions to things like Our Dining Table, the links will be in the description below along with my social media and my peer box. And if you want to subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. But now without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Mm. Okay, but so it's only been a few days, right? I love that. And also, it's just so nice to see like a good male female relationship here that's just you know the beginnings of the friendship to hear about to face his fears like i i kind of hope so because i feel like if he can do that then everything else won't seem as terrifying but also, I wouldn't blame him if he doesn't, uh, even though I think in terms of character arc, it would be really good to see it. Oh, goodness. Funny. Oh, goodness. I need a polo. This kid's perceptive. Oh! Oh my goodness! How can you say no to that kid? Oh my word! Oh great! So I get to be with you. No, you don't need to apologize for being here, even though I understand why you feel the need to. Oh my word. Why is this so pleasing? The colors are just wonderful. Again, I wonder why. Maybe you reflect a little on what you could have done to elicit that habit. Because it's not like kids form that kind of habit just on their own. Hold on, oh, sorry, I meant to pause and then it didn't pause. Oh, wow. Well done for saying it. <sighs> okay. Oh my word, this... Oh, this dude is infuriating. That's what he just spelled out to you, yes. Uh, okay, okay, there's nuance. Uh, it's difficult though because it's good that they're talking about it, but it's not going to change the fact that, like, I understand it more now from both sides, but I still, still sympathize with. Yutaka more because he's younger and if you get rejected for like months on end then of course it's gonna be natural to assume that whatever hand is being offered is a false one um, even if 
the other person's approach has changed. I think I'm glad he's saying that, but I think the people who I genuinely blame for this is the parents for not being better mediators between the two of them. Well, I'm glad he actually said it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. That's cute because they did hint at it in the earlier episodes. But I'm glad that like they spoke uh, talked it out before he found out about this. Mm, that just makes me so happy. Okay, hold on. I just, I'm feeling a little bit emotional. Oh my goodness. Like, that was just so beautifully done. And. Mm, okay. That, that left me feeling very warm. <laughs> oh goodness. Are you, are you gonna be running all the way to. Minoru's... Oh. I'm glad that he's kind of reminding him that just because he's feeling down now doesn't like invalidate all the good memories that they've had so far. <laughs> yeah, and, and all I'm hearing is it's painful either way. <laughs> I, <laughs> I cast you out until you've come back with you, Taka. I love the dad. The dad really is just the MVP. Oh. I can't stop smiling. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Oh my word. I love that all their bonding takes place over food, even when it's not at a dining table. I'm just glad he can start healing from the trauma with his family that's... Oh my word! Guys, I just... I can't deal. That small smile from Minoru, oh my goodness. Uh, elaborate? 
before I get excited? But he didn't feel worthy. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, hold on. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I thought I was. I'm not. Okay. <sighs> Why does this feel so intense? I think I wasn't prepared for it happening in this episode. I <laughs> <laughs> was not expecting that. Um, oh. I mean, I get what the reference. Because he said he wouldn't touch him again. But it still surprised me. Guys. Okay, hold on. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't I I don't know I thought it was romantic your mileage may differ Any thoughts right now? <laughs> that was freaking cute. Okay. <laughs> Love Tony. I like checking on the adults. <laughs> That's fair. It's weirdly fair. I get exactly what he means. I'm assuming it's kind of like waiting for that other shoe to drop because he just can't believe that he's about to be that happy. Oh, did you guys break up? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, it like it just uh, he had a moment of happiness. Oh goodness, that's a fair question, but also I think, you know, you know, you need to take this on a person-to-person -person basis. Some people, 
Some people, because they had a good relationship with no like hard feelings at the end, can go back to being friends. Other people can't, and either way is perfectly okay. But there's no use stressing about it right now. Oh, damn. That, that episode made me so happy. <laughs> okay, so that was my reaction to episode 9. What a beautiful episode that was. That was just amazing on so many levels. I really feel like they put in extra work with just the natural aesthetics of things. There were small moments where the colouring of the surroundings was just really well placed with everything else in it. Um, it was just Oh, it was such a nice feel-good episode, which I really wasn't expecting. Considering it's episode 9 and not episode 10. Um, the fact that we kind of got a potential extra problem here at the end makes sense to me. Even though I really hope it all works out. I'm assuming that it's going to work out. Uh, but it is going to be interesting to see how... Uh, that concern is explored in episode 10. One thing for me that I kind of just really appreciate with the story and with a lot of the Japanese shows that I've watched recently is it feels like they're just getting a peek into two people's like very normal lives and their experience with love which I don't know why, but for some reason, some of the other shows that I've watched, even though it is like they're not actors or anything that is very out of the ordinary, it does sometimes feel to me like the love stories that they have are very out of the ordinary. And um, here it just feels so grounded and beautiful and just just so wholesome <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it i can't wait for the final episode and otherwise i'll see you in the next one bye